Hello and welcome to Toy Ploy 2. Now in a recent video on my main channel Toy Ploy I did some repair work to this vintage National Smurf which comes with a little petrol pump as you see here. The stickers on the petrol pump are often damaged and missing so I thought it was an ideal opportunity to remake those in Photoshop. So today's video will be all of that Photoshop work in real time so you can see exactly what I did and how long it took me. The first thing I do is to actually scan in the original stickers. In this instance the stickers had come off of the toy mainly so that made it much easier to scan them in on one part of the toy they hadn't so I just put the entire piece onto the flat big scanner and scanned it in. I then take these scans and start to tidy them up. The first thing to do is get them all nice and level because often when you scan things in they are a bit wonky. My initial plan was to tidy up the artwork that was just by changing the brightness and contrast and using levels to sort of even out some of the flat colours. But actually after doing a few little bits of testing I decided this wasn't going to be the way to do it. And the way to actually do it was just to create a mask using the original artwork. Because the original artwork was essentially flat colours I could just take a copy of the main image that I'd scanned, turn it into a black and white image and then create a mask from that. I did that for the national text that you see here rather than retyping it and I will also do the same for the sticker that's below this one. I could have retyped these using the original font but often when you do that it makes the sticker look too good and too pristine and with these old stickers and the way they were printed having some errors around the edges of them makes them look a lot more convincing. If you make them look too new when you stick it on the toy it just doesn't look right.
for the national logo with the actual head symbol on it again I used a scan taken straight from the toy but the scan wasn't actually very good there was a lot of damage to it so I had to go about recreating this one pretty much from scratch but for the national text we can just use some of the text that we have already tidied up for the rest of this sticker sheet so I took that as the starting point and just placed it over top of the original logo and then for the head logo a quick Google image search provided me with a good version of that logo that I was able to use as a basis and then do a little bit of touch up work to make it match the rest of the stickers that I had been tidying up.
Once all that was done, I could then go about laying out my stickers in the order that I like to have them. I like to put a grey border around the edge of my stickers just so that when you come to cut them out, you don't get a harsh white line. In this instance, it probably wasn't particularly necessary, but I like to keep a sort of standard across all of the stickers that I create. And then I add all of my general copyright information and download information so that people know exactly where these stickers have come from. And that then gave me the final sheet that I could print out. In this instance, they need to be printed out onto a matte sticky backed printer paper. I didn't actually use these stickers on my toy because all of the stickers I took off I was able to reattach. I was purely creating these replacement stickers for other people to use. And there we go, after about 20 minutes work, I was able to take scans of those original stickers, tidy them up and create something that can be used by everybody. This file is now available for free on toyploy.com. So if you have your own version of this national Smurf and you need stickers for the petrol pump, go there and download them. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not check out the main part of this project over on Toyploy. And while you're there, give me a sub and give me a like. And if you've really enjoyed it, then why not subscribe here and tap the bell as well to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thank you.